In this video, we're going to explore some of the math behind the way that most groups were approaching the mini golf project. Um, I would encourage you, however, to head on over to the method number two video when you're finished with this one to see it explained a different way. It might make some more sense to you, um, but I want to start off with this way since it is how most people were approaching the problem. Um, so to keep in mind, the only required measurement for this project was that the, the hole is placed 100 centimeters away from the wall. Other than that, you can choose any measurement you want. Um, and since that is the case, I'm going to choose some numbers that I didn't see anybody using. That way we don't copy anybody's ideas. Um, so I'm going to say that I want to place this hole horizontally. I want to place it 300 centimeters away from the hole. So this distance here will be 300 centimeters and then most groups were choosing how far away they want to place the T from the wall as well. Um, so for this example I'm going to place it 150 centimeters away from the wall. So this measurement here is 150 centimeters and the total measurement here horizontally is 300 centimeters right now. So the question I'm trying to figure out is where do I need to hit the ball against the wall to make it bounce off using the same angle um, and so that's the part that we're going to try to explore. So if I just sketch these in to start again it needs to be about the same angle so it looks like I'm going to hit right about somewhere in here um, and I don't know those measurements right now but that's what we're going to solve for. So to keep in mind if these angles are the same these are both right angles that means that these angles have to be the same because they're similar triangles. If they're similar triangles, it means that the sides are also proportional. So I'm trying to figure out if that a ratio that I can use to make this side and this side proportional to these two sides here. So I need to figure out both of those measurements. Well, if I compare my big triangle to my small triangle, Okay, I'm going to take my big triangle divided by the small triangle and that gives me two measurements right now. I know measurements of 150 and 100. And when I go to simplify this, this gives me a ratio of 1.5. This means, this 1.5 means that this measurement here, 150, is 1.5 times the measurement of 100. If we took 100 and we multiplied it by 1.5, we would get to 150. So if they're going to be proportional, I need that to be true about the measurements um, against the wall of both of these triangles as well. So one way that we can approach this is to label these here and create an equation. Because I know it has to equal a total of 300, so this measurement plus this measurement needs to equal a total of 300. And I also know that this measurement needs to be 1.5 times the size of, or the length of this measurement here. So I'm going to label the small triangle right now as x because I know that the large triangle or the big triangle needs to be 1.5 times the length of x or the small triangle. So I can write an equation that looks like 1.5x plus x, so this measurement plus this measurement needs to equal a total of 300. Okay. So now combining like terms, 1.5x plus 1x would be 2.5x and that has to equal 300. And if I want to figure out what x is, or what this measurement is here, I can divide both sides by 2.5 and divide by 2.5. And that's going to leave me with x equals 120. So that means right now that this small triangle, this measurement has to be 120 centimeters. And if there's 300 centimeters total, that means that this side would need to be 180 centimeters. Okay, so we can double check these measurements to make sure they're proportional. Just like right here, I took the big triangle measurement of 150 and divided by the small triangle measurement of 100. Those were both how far away the T and the hole are from the wall. Well, these measurements here are both how far against the wall this triangle is going to run. So I should be able to take the big triangle and divide it by the small triangle. So if I take 180 and I divide it by 120, I should receive the same value of 1.5. And when we do check that in a calculator, that is true. We get the same ratio, so this ratio is the same as this ratio here, meaning that the two triangles are proportional. So we should be able to place this ball right now 150 centimeters away from the wall on a T, hit it against this point here, that's 180 centimeters horizontally away against the wall, and it should be able to bounce off and run across our hole, which is right here and is still 100 centimeters away from the wall.